Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bandus, the show where I talk about a piece of art and make a stupid, ridiculous argument as to why some stupid, ridiculous people would think it'd be a good idea to either outright ban or at least make some good choice cuts. And today, we are talking about the film that I wanted to talk about when I talked about Alien Nation. It's been returned, finally. I forgot it was even being lent out. But here it is. Ah, Salt Dog Precinct 13, the original. I haven't seen the remake, but I'm sure it's not gonna be anywhere near as close to this. Anyways, so, I'm looking at this from a bit of a more of a leftist perspective. You know, the, the people that have a tendency to want to maybe just get rid of some movies and programming, you know, in which the good guys are the cops. They can't have good cops, apparently, to some people. And they say all oh, cops are bad, and they mean it. And if anything is tries to show an exception, even if it's a black guy, as in the case as is the case of this film, it's a black guy. He's, he's the main character, and he's a cop. But you know, like, hey, <laughs> if Paw Patrol isn't going to be safe from that mindset, then the color of someone's skin might not save them in this case. But yeah, I'm, that's where I'm going with bad cops. Even though we get rid of this, we get rid of a black cop. Just like we're getting rid of Miss Butterworth and Aunt Jemima and uh, Uncle Ben. What's Cream of Wheat next? What else is there? Uh, hmm. Things are slipping my mind. There's one other thing I would have mentioned. Oh well, that's that's not enough. That's not important. I blabbed on enough. Let's Let's talk about what I actually think about this movie. I, I can talk about this a lot more than I did Alien Nation. I like Alien Nation, but this, this is an action film. But it's an action film I love. I don't really do action movies much. Take a shot every time I say action, 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 action. I'll be done. I'll try not to say action too much more because I don't want to be responsible for anyone's death. Anyways, for action movies, for me to like them, they either have to be one of two things. Absolutely hilarious, but of a certain type of humor. Like, I didn't think Pineapple Express was the greatest thing, but I'm talking about like Robocop and uh, Death Race 2000, things like that. Or action films where they take their time. This film has a very slow build up. Half of the film. It's just us meeting the characters. And then there's a fair, there's a decent amount of characters, although we only really, no. We only really, really get to know, like, one person, but we get to know a few other, because, you know, they all end up coming into the same location. But yeah, it's all built up for, like, the first half, but when it gets into the, the police station, it never lets up. The ha half the film is just slow build up, but the other half is non stop relenting action. It's amazing. I love the build up. That's 
another reason why I like things like a bad day at Black Rock. I consider that an action film. Some people might disagree on me on that, but in my opinion, it is. And it's another same thing. It takes its... Well, it's a little... That's a little bit different. It has a lot of action spaced out. And here, it's just all compressed. Yeah, great film. This is uh, John Carpenter's second film, I believe, and it's one of my favorite of his. This is just an all around a great movie. Great tension, great build up. Some scenes in there that are put in there just to shock and make. Well, well no, there's a reason. It's to show that. These gangster guys, they mean business, or at least they don't care about anything. They'll do whatever they want. So there's lit, they do little things here and there throughout the beginning just to remind us that something is going to happen. It just takes a while for that something to get there, but it's worth the wait. And it's made even better. By the weight. I suppose that's a little bit of the Rio Bravo influence, because that's, I guess, apparently that's, this is one of the biggest, ins I think it's Rio Bravo. There's so many river western movies, I think it's Bravo or Bravo or whatever, with a, why can't I think of his name? It's a crooner guy. Not not one of the Rat Pack. Um, I don't know. That's not important. But I could like the siege in that film. It only takes up like half, like five minutes, and it's just you know some standard Western stuff here. But here, then it's like. I guess like that and like it often gets compared to like Night of the Living Dead, you know, so that's what it's like. It's like real a West Western and Night of the Living Dead. Awesome film. I highly recommend it. Not much else for me to say, so yeah, I will talk to you all later. So yeah. Take care everyone. See you in the next one. Take care. God bless.